I'm Alex Wolf of Information Week. I'm here with Kevin Knox, Vice President of Information Services at AMD. We're going to talk about dual core, quad core servers, lots more stuff. Kevin, what news do you guys have? You have some exciting processor quad core news, no? Right. So we uh, we are going to be shipping our Barcelona B3 stepping parts um, at the end of this month to our partners with uh, shipment of systems for the public uh, starting in April. Um, so, so this is the Barcelona at the end of March. You're shipping. This is the quad core server chip that's got the uh, the fixes in it. Right. This is it. This is uh, B3, which uh, incorporates all of the fixes in this silicon. So there are no software workarounds or anything else. Um, and you know, we're getting this thing out the door. And, and frankly, we're pretty excited just about the amount of interest and demand that we're continuing to see from customers for this particular product. So tell me where AMD is on the quad core server front. You guys came out in 2007, late 2007 with Barcelona to a lot of publicity and then you guys took a little bit of a PR hit because there was a little bit of a problem. Walk us through that and walk us to where we are now. Right, so uh, so we identified a problem. It's actually a TLB problem. Um, That's a translation look aside buffer glitch. Translation look aside buffer glitch, which uh, which we actually identified inside of our lab. So this was actually a problem that we didn't see out in the field or even in any production environment. It was actually under very very heavy stress inside of our labs, um, and we actually decided that given the you know mission critical nature of some of these applications that will be running on these servers, that you know we were not going to release that. Uh, that part in the you know general public, uh, so we kind of went back. Uh, we actually implemented some software workarounds at the BIOS level and at the kernel level of the operating system, but obviously that's not a mainstream solution. So we went back and we incorporated the fixes into silicon, and that's what we're going to be shipping um, at the end of this month um, to our partners. It sounds like we have a really hot quad core server competition. You guys have. Your Barcelona part with AMD's hot architecture and your competitor, Intel, is shipping 45 nanometer Xeons. Right, so uh, very important. We don't like to refer to the server market as hot, right? That's kind of a, a thing we don't like to do these days. But, um, you know, it, it's actually very interesting. If you look back at 2007, you know, we've, uh, for the most part, maintained our market share, um, you know, just in the, in the server space. In fact, in some areas like the 1P, we've actually grown. In other areas like the 4P, we continue to own, you know, mid to high 50% market share in the, in the U.S. market, as an example. Um, so we're actually very excited about this because we think the 4P market, or really the market where people are able to take advantage of multiple um, threads uh, and want to really exploit the multiple cores. This is an area we really haven't been extremely competitive in trying to compete dual core against quad core. So this is kind of a, a new market that we're going to go after. But I think the most important thing is to remind everyone that, um, you know, the Barcelona processor is more about the new architecture and the new core than it is just about the fact of having four cores. Yes, we've added four cores and we think it's, it's going to be a tremendous um, advantage for us when we're going after certain application segments, but we really re-architected Opteron. This is the most significant re-architecting of the processor uh, since we introduced Opteron, you know, several years ago. 